I am back. For those of you that already follow me on Instagram, kind of already know the reasoning why I've been MIA, but I know not everybody follows me over there, but if you're not, you really should. So just go click the link below and follow me on Instagram. But I did give an update there on um, why the vlogs kind of fell off and stopped. So give you kind of a shortened version. Hopefully I can shorten it, or at least in editing I can, because I can ramble. And now my dog wants to get up. Hold on. There's Miss Bell. <laughs> She's gonna sit, I'm assuming, behind me. It's where she likes to sit in chairs. The issue was is, so we went into Disney World in March for spring break, and it, one of the last days I woke up, my feet were really like pins and needles and kind of hurting. Um, but I just assumed, um, just with, from walking, you know, I normally wear UFOs sandals. Um, I sprinkle those into my wear during our Disney World trips because they're great recovery sandals. They're super comfortable. And um, Noah's sandals were hurting him and we oddly enough wear the same size shoe. So I was letting him borrow my sandals. So I didn't get a chance to have that recovery. So I just thought my feet were just hurting because I didn't get to have any recovery. Um, but then the next day, which was our last day, I woke up and got out of bed and again pins and needles and then realized my entire body basically from like the neck down was either had no sensation or was pins and needles sensation um now i didn't initially freak out because probably about i want to say i don't know maybe 10 13 years or prior um i had gotten bit by a scorpion and that was the same reaction i had gone to the doctor then and they were like, okay, well, within 24 to 48 hours, it'll pass and it'll be back to normal. It's just your nerves kind of firing off um, from the reaction of being bit. And earlier in the week, when we were by the pool, I did get a couple mosquito bites. And so I was like, okay, maybe this is just a bite. And like one of them was really kind of bothering me. So I was like, well, maybe that's, this is just from that. So kind of tried to put it out of my mind. And um, we got home was a couple of days still having the same issues so I was like maybe it's a pinched nerve because you know dr. Google um, so I went to get a massage which was extremely painful because again my entire body it feels like pins and needles but I kept thinking okay she's gonna hit that one spot that's gonna release this nerve and then I'm gonna be like oh I'm all better um, and that did not happen <laughs> two more days went by and Mike was like you need to go see a doctor so I got right in oddly enough to the doctor and I'm talking to her and then she goes, um, I'm gonna be right back, I'm gonna go talk to people. So I initially just panicked. I'm thinking she doesn't know what's going on. She's going out to talk to other people. This is serious, now I'm getting scared. This is not just a give me a shot of something or give me a pill of something and make it go away. So. She came back and she said, okay, we need to schedule you for a full blood panel workup. Um, we need to schedule an MRI um, and kind of get going with all this. So it's like, okay, so luckily, it seemed like all of the stars were aligned because I went downstairs, you get blood work done in the same place. I didn't need to fast or anything. So they did blood work. By the time I get out to my car, the MRI place is calling me and saying, hey, can you be here in like a half an hour? So I was like, yes. So I go there get everything done and um, the next day i get the preliminary results and it says that i have demyelination of the brain and of the spinal cord and um they were going to refer me to a neurologist so again I, I so that was saturday so i waited sunday so monday i called to make an appointment and they had somebody cancel so i like within the next hour i'm going to see a neurologist and it was kind of nerve wracking because they don't really know what was going on. Um, it's kind of like one of two things. I keep thinking that maybe it's like a West Nile virus because I had gotten bit, um, but my doctors thought initially it could be the first signs of MS, um, which is quite scary, especially from somebody who's, I'm consider myself fairly healthy. I work out. I you know, try to eat good. I mean, it's not perfect, but like, I don't know. If I get sick, I get over it quickly. Like I've never really had like major illness. And so it was quite scary to hear. Um, so they put me on some steroid infusions 
and like prednisone for the next, I don't know, it's like a month and a half or something like that. So eventually um, I got sensation back. Actually it was in my feet first, which thankfully, cause they were starting to feel like bricks kind of cement. Um, and then the last thing to kind of get um, feeling back was my hands. And I still have some sensation. Um, really it's like in the shower, like if I'm washing my hair, my sensation for my hands and my head, um, it just feels like there's a disconnect. It's not totally feeling it. So um, I went back 30 days later to have more MRIs done. Um, I had some MRI, MRIs with contrast done in between there too, because they wanted to track to see what exactly was going on. Um, so I got more MRIs done 30 days after the first time I got it done because they wanted to compare. And it looks like it's not getting any worse. Um, all the areas look like they pretty much started at the same time, like the demyelination of it, um, which is encouraging because that leads more to possibly that it was just a post-infection issue. Um, but I just kind of don't know. Now we're just kind of in a wait and see type of experience, which is not fun. I have an appointment to follow up with the MS doctor, but it's not until February, oddly enough. So they said, okay, call if you have another um, issue and then obviously we'll get you in sooner because um, the next steps would be like, I believe like a spinal tap and some other tests. And um, honestly, now that I'm pretty much almost gotten everything back and I haven't had an issue, um, minus one day I did have some like sharp like pain going down my right arm, but it instantly it like within like a couple minutes it went away. So I don't know if that was a pinched nerve. I don't know. I think I'm just have a little bit of PTSD from it now too. So I'm like just hypersensitive on, I don't want anything to happen to me. Um, so that's kind of where I am. So since I was going through all that, I really didn't have any use of my hands. I was laying on the couch for probably a couple weeks and then being able to do stuff, but not really with my hands. So obviously being on the computer and editing and all that stuff just wasn't happening. So thank you for bearing with me. And I don't know if this story ended up being <laughs> as long. I tried to erase through things and then give all the details because it's not that interesting. Um, but end goal is, is I've been within the last week starting to edit and um, put some vlogs together. And I'm really excited because it was like our spring break trip. So we had the preview to Tron, which seems like a million years ago, but that was kind of exciting. Um, looks like there's a lot of like Epcot and Hollywood studio days. It doesn't even look like I filmed at Magic Kingdom that much. So I don't know if I lost footage or what, but I'm just gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna get those vlogs out to you, um, but I wanted to come on prior just to kind of let you guys know what's going on and where we're at. So we do have a Disney World trip in just, I think like three weeks uh, for our summer trip, which I'm very excited about. I am a little nervous because again, I don't know, I'm just, just nervous. So I'm going to bring bug spray so when we're by you know, the pool or out night, so in case it was a mosquito issue, hopefully we don't have that issue again. Um, I don't know if the heat is gonna trigger it. I mean, I live in Texas, so I've been out in the heat and it hasn't been bad. Um, but I mean, I'm not out in the heat all day like I am at Disney World, so I don't know, we'll see. It's just gonna be a different trip. We are gonna try and take it slow, but we say that every trip and we end up not, so. <laughs> Who knows? But again, I just wanted to say thank you for your patience. I know I've had some people reach out to me um, via messaging on vlogs or through Instagram, just you know, wanting to know how I was doing and kind of wanting updates and just telling me how much you missed our vlogs. And that honestly meant a lot to me um, because I know we are a small channel still, but just to have people that were caring that were like, oh, we miss seeing you and your family. Like, are you okay? I know you went on a trip. And I was very proud to always post Thursday and Saturday and not miss one of those days and, um, you know, to have to kind of adjust schedule and not post anything is, um, it, it was kind of 
heartbreaking. So, uh, but since I had been away from it, like feeling creative and wanting to get back into it was just kind of paralyzing me. So like I said, this last week, I got back in there and just started editing and started to feel creative again. So I hope that you enjoyed these vlogs and um, yeah, that's it. Go live your disc goals. Bye.